1951, the Bowman Gum Company, which was based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, purchased three different ad spots in the famous sporting news magazine nicknamed the Bible of Baseball. And what you're looking at here is the first magazine Bowman's ad was in, which was dated April 18th. It says uh, play ball because April 16th was opening day for the 1951 baseball season. The ad is on page 30 in this particular issue, but I just want to kind of flip through this magazine a little bit first, just so you get kind of a feel of it, and I can just show you what it was it was like. And yes, this is an original. All right, so this is uh, play ball, lots of uh, cartoons and artwork, which I really, really liked. You can see it says, always buy Chesterfields, a hit. So that was obviously cigarettes. I think there's a ad out there with like Willie Mays or Monty Irving or somebody smoking uh, <laughs> Chesterfields. So this is uh, 70 some years old now, so it's kind of pretty delicate. You can see the artwork of all uh, 16 of the managers at that time. Kind of got to go a little slow here. It's an article about uh, Stan Musial, Ralph Kiner, see uh, Dressen, which is the Chuck Dressen, Charlie Dressen, which was the uh, manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers. And here you got Walter O'Malley, some more uh, cartoons throughout. Howard Fox, he actually uh, died very young in the 51 Bowman set. He is was the youngest guy to die unfortunately i think he was in his early 30s he was uh stabbed a few times outside his uh bar that he owned and yeah it was really awful so I'll keep going here just little articles and there's cubs and giants just all kinds of old logos here's the philadelphia elephant logo it's kind of hard to see there but i'll flip a few pages ahead here some old uh, old gloves you could buy. I'll kind of skip ahead to the article, which will be on the left-hand side on page 30. And here it is up here. So I'll zoom in a little bit so you can get a better look. So I got free photos. This is uh, Sal Magley. And actually, Bowman did use that exact image because this is the, the real card. You can see. It says 340 new 1951 photos of your favorite stars. Every pack contains action colored photos, baseball bu bubble gum. Start your 1951 collection today. Bowman Gum Company, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And for you kind of veterans of vintage or know anything about the 51 set, it didn't have. 340 cards. It actually ended with uh, 324 cards. And I don't own the last card, but I do own the reprint. So this is the last card in the set. Johnny here says uh, 324. So that's it's the actual last card in the set, not 340. So we'll keep moving on here. Also, I want to show on this page, I almost forgot, is this ad down here. This is the Clown Prince of Baseball. He's going out again. We'll do, you know, 40. We'll book 40 engagements. He was, uh, you know, a big into baseball. And he actually had an amazing card in the 1939 Playball set, which I own here. This one's got a crease, which is, and some marks there, which is why it's a two. But I thought that was neat that I actually had a card of this guy. So if you want to pause and read the back or just Google image, this card you can you can check it out and learn more about him so he was definitely active in the baseball community oh here's something kind of cool there's Ted William fishing boots if you wanna buy some of those in Massachusetts so I'll fold this one up and move on to the next ad the next ad comes in the May 16th issue which is this one right here, and it'll be on uh, page 21. 
there's just so much good stuff in here. You can see it's kind of just shedding off how old these magazines are. Move that out of the way. Here we go. Just keep. If I can probably want to zoom out so you can see a little better. Switch to the page I can. This is 22, so it should be on page 21. Yeah, here we go. Here's the next ad. Zoom in so you can see. It's pretty similar to the the other ad, the first one. So it says, a new series. Willie Puddin Head, Puddin Head and Jones. Excuse me if I can't say that right. Philadelphia Phillies, 340 new 1951 photos of your favorite stars. Every pack contains action colored photos, baseball, bubble gum, start your 1951 collection today, Bowman Gum Company, Incorporated, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So that's him. And Bowman didn't actually use this photo. They used uh, this photo for uh, Willie Jones. This is the reprint. You can tell because it says reprint there at the bottom. And it's glossy and the borders are bigger. I just don't own a nice copy of the original one yet. So definitely a little different there. So the first ad was April 18th. This was May 16th. And now I'll move on to the, the last of the three from the Sporting News. The third ad comes from the August 22nd issue. So I'll zoom out again so you can see. And look at these. Look at these, this artwork. Wow. It says it should be on page 31. all kinds of stats of each of the games and here we go on the top right hand corner here and I'll zoom in it says new star series over 300 not 340 like the other ones this was August 22nd it says new 1951 Bowman picture card series complete your collection and they actually added some like images here saying like Bowman Bubblegum here on both sides. Bowman Gum Incorporated, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I'll zoom back out so you can see more of the ad again. And actually, this is Vic Rashi from the New York Yankees. It was a pitcher, and this is the card that they actually used in the photo. So they did not use that particular photo. This is the card, actual card. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So you went from 300... 340, 340 to 300 in, now in August. So I'll have to do a whole different like video on just why they uh, changed the numbers. But that's kind of, that's not the focus of this particular episode. So those are the three ads. And now I kind of have a, a little ending surprise that I learned about from this magazine series. Or lastly, it's the July 4th issue. Now, this isn't a particular ad of the 51 Bowman set, but it does show something really cool. So back reveals inside bid for Browns. Anyhow, I can just go on and go on and go on. So we're going to later in the magazine here. Here we go, page 23. So Bowman had these uh, Sportsman's Ships Awards. Um, and this was the first annual one. It's kind of uh, a little hard to see here. If I can zoom in. So the Sportsman Award, actually, these all these guys here, there was actually a guy by the name of Joseph A. Donahue, which is the treasurer of Bowman Gum, Inc., Philadelphia. It says, you probably can't see. If I can point again, Bowman Gum Inc. Okay, so what's the big deal about this photo? Well, you should look here. This is actual boxes of the Bowman cards. So my guess is that Joseph Donahue, treasurer of Bowman Gum Inc., brought some boxes of the new set out. So I thought that was really cool. I'll zoom in some more. 
you can see there the actual boxes of the cards. And I'll actually pause a second so you can see an actual image of the real boxes in color. All right, so I'll zoom back out. And yeah, I just find this stuff super, super interesting and great. I came across a lot of these uh, on eBay of uh, like 48 of the 52 uh, issues of Sporting News in 51 and just love looking through this stuff. You can just see oh, how these magazines are falling apart from, you know, being you know, created and old for, what, 72 years now. So, anyways, I appreciate everybody watching. I hope you learned something. Just leave a comment down below what you think. Maybe some ideas on why Bowman changed the 340 number to 300. And, uh, yeah, I'll be making uh, some more videos soon. Have a great one. Bye.